Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze a whole book using GPT-3. Normally, it's very hard to do because you cannot upload the whole book on there, but I will present a tool that I developed called Infranotus that uses text network analysis to visualize all the main topics in the book, like you see on the graph here, and then use GPT-3 to question it in a way that can be interesting for you to explore the content and the ideas and to challenge them as well. So this is how it works. First of all, you upload the book there or any text that you like, and then you will have a graph. On that graph, uh, you will have the words as the nodes and the co-occurrences as the connections between them. And based on that, we apply different measures from network science and graph theory to identify the main topics which are shown here, and then use GPT-3 to give them names. So the names you see here are actually generated by GPT-3. Uh, things like world care, uh, life meaning, God sacrifice, uh, evil, suffering, social existence, and so on. So these are all the topics that he's talking about in the book. Uh, it would be very hard for you to get the same information directly from GPT-3 or ChatGPT because you would have to upload it in there first and probably it would be too big for it to analyze anyway. So this is what Infranotus does. It gets the gist out of the book based on those topics and then it feeds them into GPT-3 so that you can get some interesting insights about the content of the book and what are the main topics and keywords there. If you like one of the topics, for instance, you want to see what he has to say about life meaning, then you click here, then you go and see all the words that I use. So for example, if you see something you like, like what he's saying about death and attention, for instance, then you select those two words and then you see the place in the book where he's talking about these two topics. Okay, so then you can deselect them here and get back to the general view of the graph. Now, how you can use GPT-3 to analyze this book in other ways, not only getting the topics out, can be seen here. So you have the AI insight panel where you can actually generate any content in relation to whatever it is that you're interested in. So for example, by default, Infranodus identifies the structural gaps, which are shown here. These are the blind spots in thinking. So the two topics that could be connected a little bit better. In this case, it's social existence and God sacrifice. You see these two, these two topics here. I can select them at the same time. And Infranodus proposes me to generate content that would bridge those two topics and the structural gap together. So in this case, I can generate a general response, a research question, a challenge, an assertion, or an idea. For instance, if I generate a response here, it's going to feed uh, these two topics to GPT-3 and then GPT-3 will come up with some interesting uh, statements that combine those two topics together in an interesting way. So here it's talking about the sacrifices, uh, sacrifices of people throughout history have been seen as the great deeds in the eyes of God, da da da, then uh, how we must recognize a small part in existence of nature you know, to understand how to solve existing social problems. So some kind of humbling message for us based on the content, right? So it's not saying what Jordan Peterson wrote about this, rather it's saying uh, how you can connect those topics together in a new way. Then we can regenerate a few more uh, and a few more until you see something you like. If you see something you like, you can always add it into the project notes here. This is the dialogue here that will be saved. So if you find some ideas as you go along uh, and you want to save them, just save them into the project notes by clicking this button here or by copying and pasting it there as well. Now, if you would like to, for example, get into some more specific subject, like for instance, you're interested to learn more about, uh, let's say, life, if we click on that word, we actually see the other words it's connected to. We can also see it in the analytics panel here. For example, life, people, and suffering, and maybe cows also. Okay, so there we see the content of the book where he's talking about this, these topics, but if we're not interested to see what he has to say, but rather we just want to explore those ideas together and generate some interesting ideas, again, they're selected here in the AI Insight panel, and then we can generate an assertion or an idea that would connect those ideas in a new way. 
If you don't want the AI to think for you, you can also generate questions. This is my favorite function, actually. So it generates a question that motivates you to think of how you could connect those ideas together. Uh, here it says, what psychological effects does cows have on the lives of people suffering from psychological trauma? So this can be interesting, actually, to think about the environment and how it affects people in negative way. Um, what are the effects of chaotic life events on the psychological well-being of those suffering from chronic mental illness? Okay, great. We can add this into notes and save it here so that uh, we keep the most interesting ideas for later exploration. Uh, one other feature that I want to show you is that you can not only uh, generate content in relation to the connections that already exist in the book, you can also challenge it in an interesting ways. So for example here, let's say uh, suffering from evil. He has a topic on that. Uh, let's challenge that. Let's ask GPT-3 to challenge this idea and to generate something interesting in relation to that. So here it's going to generate a set of arguments. Uh, so it says that suffering is necessary for good to exist. Actually, without suffering, one cannot appreciate the joys of life. And that conflict produces growth and understanding beyond what could be achieved in its absence. So he's saying that actually suffering uh, can be interesting. The GPT-3 is saying that. So we save this into notes and uh, can generate more challenging assertions that would talk about this topic. What you can also do is to actually summarize the whole book. So if you click here, you, you, you have to actually deselect uh, the topics first. So nothing is selected. You can also just click this reset button and then you go to summarize graph and then GPT-3 will generate the summary of this book based on the topics that we identified using Infernodus. So once again, something that you cannot do with the standard uh, GPT-3 because it wouldn't uh, be able to process the whole book for you. So here uh, it gives some kind of summary of what he's talking about and we can explore it further or regenerate some more stuff. If we want, we can also select uh, some of the topics that we want to summarize. So for example, we want to write something about sacrifice, social existence and rules. Okay, so if you selected those topics, you can click Summarize Selected Topics, and then it's going to make a summary only based on those topics that you find interesting in that particular book. Um, you can also make the outline of an article that you want to write about that. So if you want to write about those topics, you can just uh, take this book as an uh, inspiration, but write an article that will connect those ideas in a completely different way. So this is a great way to also critique something or to rewrite something or to follow a certain idea and to develop it in your own way. So I hope that what you have just seen you will find interesting and you will want to explore it a little bit further. Uh, try it out on infranodus.com. I will leave the link uh, in the comment and description to this video. Also join us on Discord and Reddit and on the support portal because there are many more interesting use cases we have with Infranodus and GPT-3. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments to this video. Thank you very much.